Hey there game makers, once again I'm gonna show you one of the best and one of my favorite effects which you can now do with just a few mouse clicks in game maker. It's completely overused and abused and basically all video games which you know all the most important AAA ones or so Doom Eternal, Horizon Zero Dawn and so on. All of them use that effect in combination with HDR of course. So what I'm talking about it's called Bloom. It's kind of a post processing effect which you know creates this artificial glow which you see in front of you so this is kind of beautiful you can do that in game maker yes the default values are not so good because <laughs> you will see that in a few seconds and later on if you want to stick around after the practical part um, how it's actually being created so what's the theory behind that i'm just going to make it super easy and uh, basic to understand and um well, that could be interesting for you because it's such a vital and important part in video games. So without further ado, let's just dive right into it. So basically what you have to do is just create, you know, an effect layer and then you overlay it at the very top and just say glow. Uh, here we go. And then, for example, once we start it. You will see this and this is completely <laughs> a little bit too bright a little bit too glowy but this is how you could do it if you like but once again uh, this is definitely overkill but hey why not so just quickly you got a, f a few values which you're having here for your glow which are radius quality intensity gamma and alpha the alpha is i guess the easiest one so basically this is how much you want to overlay the original image uh, with the copied one so here later on what that means uh, I will just explain then you got radius and quality here you just need to understand you kind of have um, a radius which you just blur each pixel around and then from this blurring and meshing with the original image you're getting well the final pixel so here radius and quality are kind of determining how much uh, how big you want to do that but of course um, for my game I just go with really low values because this is working pretty fine for that then the intensity this is kind of an interesting part because it's at least I as far as I understand is um, it separates kind of an, into a threshold uh, how intense you want to have it and intensity just could mean like a lot of things and I assume because it's sadly not stated in the manual because it's not there <laughs> please add it at one point I would like to research that myself um, intensity just means you know uh, how much of a threshold between dark pixels and light pixels so this kind of threshold and the more intense it is the more you will take even dark pixels and you know um, blur them up and then create this glow even on a dark spot but of course here um, just play around with the value until it sticks for me intensity needs to be kind of low and then gamma um, I completely sped off this is I guess uh, how much you want to you know uh, make it even uh, brighter than it originally yes I get, at least this is how I do understand it so this is how that works and then you can create it on your game it's not just for you know start values but of course you can actually do this uh, let's say like in Ori um, they have tons of glow around it so you could actually technically abuse it for uh, that as well so here tons of games do that so let's go to the theory part so let's say we are not talking about this dude here so for example you have kind of a thing and then you just glow so this is not technically what I'm talking about so what we do is normally because it's a post-processing effect we just take the original image so this one here as you can see it has no glow in there and then later on we overlay it with a different one let's give it a little bit more and then you can see it starts to blur a little bit so how do we do our bloom so basically we just take the original image copy it so as you can see no difference here and then we just say like ah, by our intensity which areas do don't we want to have so the darker it gets the less we want to have that so let's just uh, go get rid of you of you you i'm just making it very placative and you know everything which is dark and then uh, 
here a little bit less, 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 yeah, completely. And as you can see, um, we are not taking pixels into account, which are kind of dark. So we just do it like this. Voila, and this dude is definitely too dark and these areas, blah, 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 blah. And then what we do, and this is the interesting part, we just take a filter, a blur filter, so Gaussian blur. So as you can see now, it's getting uh, kind of blurry, kind of very much blurry. And then what we do, we just overlay it with the original image because now it looks kind of crappy. So as you can see, zero. But of course, if we just increase it, Ta -da, we got our glow effect. This is how that works. Here, once again, um, Bloom is a post-processing uh, shader. So basically, we take the image, um, cre copy it, blur that thing, just take uh, out the spots which we want to have, depending on the intensity. So basically, the lighter, the better, and then things which are lighter are definitely going to glow more than things which are darker. This is the way that goes. And then we just mesh them together into a final image and we kind of create this cool glow effect. This is how that works in theory. There's of course also HDR, which is a completely different technique. It does a similar thing. It just takes the lightest and the darkest pixels and it kind of creates a great contrast between those. But HDR you can actually do in combination with Bloom where you have, for example, in Horizon Zero Dawn or, for example, in uh, Doom Eternal, everything is lo looking crisp because the HDR rendering is once again a post-processing effect, which is just, you know, taking the image and making everything look crisp. This is the beauty of it because here it looks a little bit blurry, but HDR, you know, in combination with Bloom is making, even though there are glows and things, it does not appear to be blurry. So here, these two effects are completely modern standard in uh, AAA games. And well, that's pretty much it. So hopefully you do understand how that works. And ah, yeah, and once again, um, this game here is mine, Guncade. So wishlist it. Please, if you could, have all the brother here. <laughs> that would be nice. Link in the description below. Just check out the demo. If you could wishlist it, that would be more than appreciated. Alrighty, and that was it from my side. Have a good one. One up indie.